guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to grow an article titled, A Dad Discovers His Daughter Is A Dancer, Refuses To Make Her Car Payments Any Longer, Saying It's My Money. And guys, this article popped up on Fox News on Saturday. It's covering a story that's spreading like wildfire on Reddit. Ordinarily, I'll leave the Reddit stuff for my other channels, but this one I'm doing for this particular reason. And the whole Reddit community and internet is having a meltdown over the father here because he's laying down the law with his daughter. You're going to see that he's she's 21, going to college. He obviously pays for her car payments and other things like that. And he finds out that she, guess what she's really doing behind the scenes? She's a dancer. And the guy rightfully so laid down the law with her. And of course, she's saying it's unfair. His wife's saying it's unfair. And the internet's saying it's unfair. At least a lot of the uh, morons out there. And it's spreading. And that'd be a very good one to cover here, guys, just to show you once again the Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 where we live in and how important it is that parents need to raise their kids in a way they understand that the, these type, doing these types of things is wrong. Some people will disagree with me, not, not in this channel, but elsewhere. But I strongly believe that the big reason we have what we have today in terms of how the youth, and particularly the gals, behave is because of bad parenting parents choosing to be their kid's best friend instead of being a parent and raising them in a certain way in a conservative traditional way compound that with social media dating apps and of course feminism teaching gals that you, you can't be a strong empowered woman without flaunting your body amongst many other things and i think this is a really good one to show you how fathers handle this in my opinion right okay and but of course he's the big villain here and i say this guys it is your job in my opinion as a parent to really raise your kids right and to be the good parent that prepares them for a tough competitive world, not be their best friend. When you be their best friend, you have what you have today. That's what I really think is a big contributing factor here. And I got to tell you, if I was a parent and I'm not a parent, at least I sure as hell hope I'm not a parent somewhere. Believe me, if I had daughters, I would raise them in a household where that's very conservative and traditional. Like I was, I was raised, my sister was raised. They would... I wouldn't say I wouldn't spoil them, but they would really want for nothing because I do very well. And I would raise them obviously to know that this stuff is a disgrace and a terrible and not to behave like the gals out there today. And so let me tell you that if I were to find out upon raising them right and not having really want for anything, but making their own path in this world to find out that one of them was doing something like this or doing only fans, that'd be it. They're done. I, I disown them like that. And a lot of people say it's harsh, but you have to be harsh with kids. You have to have tough love to the point that they go too far and they disgrace you and the family and themselves. That's it. They're done. You have to, they have to know their consequences to actions. And that's a problem nowadays that we have in this world. But this guy's handling it right. And of course, everybody's coming after him. No surprise there. You got to raise your kids right and have, make sure there's consequences, make, make them aware there's consequences for actions. But anyhow, I've been going on long enough, but I thought this was an important thing to say before I started this whole story here. So it starts off, says, uh, A family standoff elicited over 6,000 comments, said one person, Stop shaming your daughter. A father is making waves on Reddit for saying he is no longer making car payments for his daughter now that he's learned she's been working as a dancer. The post on Reddit has earned over 20,000 reactions and over 6,000 comments. So that's big. And by the way, I normally would do this on the other channels, but that'd be a good one to cover here. A man by the username of Living With Horse shared on the subreddit known as Am I the A Hole his story of family drama and asked others for their input on the case. You ask anybody for input on Reddit, you're likely to get all sorts of reactions. And definitely you have a lot of people on Reddit that are more, let's just say, liberal minded, and therefore they're going to stick to a lot of these Yahoo ideas of what's right and wrong. He says he's a 47-year-old male who has a 22-year-old daughter. He says she's in college and lives there on campus. I agreed to make to help her make her car payments since she was in school, he wrote. But the father said that recently he learned from a young man that he works with that his daughter now strips at a club about 40 minutes away. Now, I'm going to hope that the guy, the young man he works with went in there, saw the daughter, was like, oh, shit, turned around, went out the door and told the dad. Not stay there oogling at her and having shots for the next two hours. The man, who did not share his location, wrote, I confronted her on this, and she said she didn't plan to do it, and that she needed some money. Um, if the father is making her car payments, and I'm pretty much assuming other payments, she doesn't need the money. 
And immediately I'd be like, I raised you better. I raised you better than this. I don't want to hear it. The man said that he told his daughter that he'd rather she worked at McDonald's uh, not to make money from the use of her body. He went on and we got into an argument and I asked her to quit stripping and get a decent job then. But she refused, the father wrote, and said stripping was easy money. Well, that's the problem. That only fans, that type of thing, it's easy money. They go for the easy thing and there you go. But I guarantee this father's thinking, I thought I raised her better than that. And this is how you're thanking me? So basically, the man added, I said there was no need for me to pay her car payments any longer since she's making money so easily. Hey, there you go. You're not going to quit this. You're disgracing me, the family, yourself. So, okay, I don't have to make your car payments anymore since you're making easy payments. He went on. She got so upset and said that it wasn't fair and that she doesn't make enough for that. I told her to figure it out. Good for him. She's lucky he's not cutting her off because believe me, I would handle things quite differently. And I know a lot of you guys would handle things quite differently. The man said uh, she told my wife about what happened and my wife is upset by her job of choice, but says it's unfair for me to stop supporting her so suddenly over an argument. Uh, number one, wife, we're going to have a united front here with our daughter right now. Or you and I have a major problem with our marriage. And number two, uh, guess what? She's making plenty of money doing that on stage so she can take care of her car payments and other things as well. The father and husband also said, I think it's perfectly fair. It's my money and my decision when to cut it off. Exactly. She's a grown ass woman. She's 22 years old, making her decisions as an adult. And with that decision, she can deal with the consequences. Uh, Fox News Digital reached out to a New York psychologist for insight into the family drama. Now listen to this. New York, I just want to point this out, New York. A father of four on the East Coast told Fox News Digital that he has plenty of questions about the story. Does the young woman truly need the money? Why did she suddenly turn into stripping? He said there must be more to the story. Well, probably what happened was that she knew somebody was doing it. It was easy money, like she said. And I guarantee you there's more to this going on that she's letting on. And, of course, there's the age-old attention and validation factor. And I wouldn't be surprised to find out she was on OnlyFans or something. The psychologist also said that if the father was paying for, for was... If, if all the father was paying for was his young daughter's car payments, and now he stopped that because of her choice of work, it's not right either. Hey, asshole psychologist, mind your own freaking business. Your own personal feelings towards the issue don't apply to somebody else. You may be more liberal-minded with your children, but I guarantee it doesn't apply to other people. Uh, plenty of people on Reddit share their own views and comments in the meantime. Now listen to these comments from Reddit. Now, of course, Fox News is going to fo focus on the most Yahoo left-minded individuals to post their views on these things. Keep that in mind, but still... They're making out the father to be the big villain here. It says here, one person was particularly angry about the informant, not, not any of the family members at this scenario. It says, what kind of uh, a-hole tells a woman's parents that they saw their daughter stripping? As if it's any of his business to get into. Said one commentator about the informer. Well, I, I think the guy could do better things with his time than go pay money to go to a strip club. But he was there, saw what would happen, and figure his co-worker would want to know. I'd want to know. I'm sure most of you guys would want to know if your daughter was doing that and you can handle it accordingly. The person continued, your gross coworker who goes to the strip clubs to oogle women, but then tattletales on them is the biggest a-hole in this issue. He let them know. I, I agree he could do something better with his time and money, but still. Uh, another, another guy said here that the surprise that the dad wasn't more concerned his coworker was watching his daughter stripping. I'm going to assume this, the coworker saw the girl was like, oh lord. And turned around and went out the door to tell the dad. Another commenter was quite angry at the father for no longer supporting his daughter. And in this line of thinking, the commenter had plenty of company. I wasn't kidding. He said the man was wrong for adding conditions to his agreement with his daughter regarding car payments after the fact. Um, again, it's the father's money. He can have terms. And again, I really when I connect the dots here is that the daughter's thinking, I raised her better. And this is how she repays me because she claims she needs the money. Then fine. You're going to keep doing this. You're not going to get a decent job somewhere else. We make less money, but have some integrity. Fine. I'm not making the car payments. And believe me, if she's dancing, I'm sure she can make more than enough money in one night to cover months worth of car payments. Unless she's one of these idiots that has like a thousand dollar car payment. 
The same commentator called out the dad for shaming your daughter and for not being a man of your word. Well, you know what? He has every right to shame his daughter because a lot of things that this, the young generation does, they need to be shamed and put in their place because there was a time place that people would... Because that this same demographic is more than happy to shame other people that don't live up to their standards on how things should be. We, we all are well aware of this. Another person on Reddit felt the dad was in the wrong for not fully supporting his daughter through college. She's a grown-ass woman. He's been supporting her all these other years. This guy says, yeah, you could have avoided this, said the commentator directly to the dad. If you had chosen to fully support her through college, but you left her on her own devices and she devised a decent way to make money, you have, you have no right to judge her, the commentator said. Well, it sounds like he's been supporting her through all this, but you know what? Even if he wasn't paying for everything for college, guess what? It's not his job. Okay, a lot of people are so entitled nowadays, they expect their parents to fully pay for the college tuition, which is astronomical money, like they, that's just an entitlement like breathing air and drinking water. Oh, no, no, no. The students want to take these expensive loans for these oftentimes worthless degrees. That's on them. It's not required by law for the parents to do that. And if he was doing that or taking care of anything, that's out of the kindness of his heart. He's not, that's not his job. Another person weighed on the same point, writing, uh, you may not like it, but if stripping pays a lot more than McDonald's for a few hours, so she doesn't have to run herself ragged while trying to study, work, and have a social life at the same time. Yeah, but what these people don't get is there are consequences to these actions. She does this now, it gets out, and guess what? That could have be a very difficult thing for her for her future career down the road. They find out that she did that. That could cause an employer not to be interested in her. It could cause potential guys that she's in relationships with down the road to find out about her past and say, uh-uh, not get involved with her, especially nowadays doing what I do and, and more guys learning about these types of things and standing for themselves. So there's going to be consequences, but a lot of these, you're not always going to get the best and brightest commenting on these things, whether it be Reddit or anywhere else says here, the same commenter went on, unfortunately, a minimum wage has stagnated for about two decades due to people your age and older insisting that it should remain low and that jobs at McDonald's are entry-level jobs and should be paid poverty wages. Well, she doesn't have to work at McDonald's. She could work, get, at 22 years old, she can get a different job that isn't exposing herself and shaming herself and family. Believe me, I'm sure she could figure it out. The person went on, she would have to work three to five times as many hours in a much more physically demanding job to make the same money she's making now. You're asking her to demote herself. Uh, demoting yourself is up there on stage spinning around a pole, showing your parts, and doing private dances for different dudes. This guy is an idiot. The same commentator went on and added, Also, your aid in paying her car payments wasn't contingent on her having a specific job or staying away from a specific job, or moving the goalposts now is ridiculous. Well, you're ridiculous. And again, his money, his terms. Another uh, commenter wrote, so in order to convince your daughter to stop stripping, you, sh you stop paying for her car and now she has to strip more. No, she, she, can, she can stop stripping and he'll then take care of her car payments. The person finished with, nice one, dude. Now, in a moment, I'm going to read comments from people that aren't so harebrained and they are applauding the father. And it says here, and that was the end of the article, pretty much. There was more people bitching and complaining with the guy, but I, I think you guys got the point. Now, I hear some comments from people that actually have a brain. This is from people that posted on the actual article from Fox News. I, I know there's a lot of very questionable stuff on Fox News, but the point is, is that there's definitely some people here that actually have are right-minded on this issue. One guy says here, I'm with the dad. As a mother of three daughters, this is a woman, I would be horrified if my daughter was stripping because it's easy money. Someone commented dad should be fully supporting her and he wouldn't need to, she wouldn't need to strip. No one knows how much the dad contributes or more what he can afford to, to uh, contribute. We had eight kids, six went to college, with the exception of one who used the military benefits, and they all paid their own way through college with jobs that they did not call for them to stoop that low. Exactly. They got student loans, paid, and are paying their loans, and work for expenses. They lived at home to cut down the costs. I would not support my child selling drugs for easy money, nor would I support them selling their integrity. Amen, Mom. Exactly. Thank you. Somebody with some common sense. Now the guy says, I'm a father of five daughters, and I agree completely with the action taken by the, fa by the father. 
I will have done everything possible to support my daughters, but I would still draw the line if they decide to become strippers, escorts, or partake in any criminal activity. However, I know that a situation like this would never happen with my kids because I instilled values while raising them and they would never consider this type of occupation. There you go. He raised them a certain way. Now, I think this father probably thought he raised his daughter right, but, but clearly he was surprised at what happened happened. You raise your kids right, and you also know there are consequences to your actions, and you can have a very different outcome. But again, you got a whole generation now, more than ever, that their parents decide to be their best friend. And what happens there? It's better for your kids to think you're a jerk for a while. Like there were times I thought my parents were jerks because they were laying down the law and having tough love with me and my sister than to be my best friend and make, let me make stupid-ass mistakes and disgrace myself and all that. Another guy says here, if she wants to strip, that's her choice. Choices have consequences, though. And one of those consequences is her dad making the choice not to support her lifestyle. Sometimes tough love hurts, but it's good parenting. The industry is filled with exploitation, mental health issues, drugs, and human trafficking, and not too many get out unscathed. And last one here says, I read in the comments, it appears the commentators are the entitlement generation. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, you don't know who's actually commenting on these things. Daughter has the choice after age 18 to make her own decisions, but with those decisions may come consequences. When you're in debt to someone, the bank can call the shots. And dad has the right to make the decision to stop making her car payments. More dads need to be a father rather than a friend and teach their children the real facts of life. A freaking man. So there you go, guys. Just I thought it'd be a good one to cover this story here because I know I like to talk about, on occasion... Well, not, I talk about it all the time how things are nowadays, but here's an article that it got enough attention actually went to Fox News, one of the mainstream media, whether you d d just taking out your opinion on the mainstream media and all that, just to show you it should up there was a good one. But you got to be with the kids. You got to start young and raising them in a certain way. And they need to know that certain behavior is unacceptable. And if they do something as an adult, then make that adult decision. There are consequences. And so guys, for you parents out there, you really, nowadays especially, really got to pay attention to what your kids are doing and make it known that you're going to behave in this way. I may not be able to stop you, but I can cut you off. Or or worse yet, disown you. And make them, and better yet, raise them in a way they be appalled and disgusted by this type of behavior that so many young people partake in in varying degrees. That they wouldn't want to do that. I hope that helps, but we shall see. So I wish this father the best. For high five for the father. He handled it right. And I hope, like hell, he doesn't let his wife pull some bullshit to make him go back on his word. That's the worst thing that could ever happen. But she got what she deserved. And we shall see what happens. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. If you're a parent, are you, how are you raising your kids right now in this crazy world we're in? Do you have teenagers? Do you have daughters? Let's hear about it in the comment section. And let me know if you think, um, if I'm right, you agree with me, or if I'm wrong. I'll, I'll, I like to hear both parts. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.